Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. I've been playing for the last couple of hours working on getting this system up and going, but so much is happening in other places, I thought it would be a good idea to uh, hit the record button and get an episode in. This was working so well, I decided to duplicate it right up above. And we've just gone through the process of making a bunch of seeds. Here's blossom seeds times two. I only had five blossom seeds, just enough to do these five. So now that they've just popped and gone through their harvest, this one's about to do it too. Um, they've been making their, because they're on excellent yield, so they've been making two blossom seeds per. So enough to replant this one and to plant that one. So we'll kind of watch this process as they come to to uh, harvest it, which should be soon. And yeah, we're on auto harvest and we're on nine, so that should trigger somebody. Of course, our stress has been kind of creeping up there because I've been putting them through the ringer lately. Someone's going to come running down here. And we get that one to pick up. Maybe Murphy? There we go. That should pop two seeds out. We picked up this seed. We're going to we're going to go put it away, then we're going to go take it back out and plant it. <laughs> Are we still set for... we're eights here. And we're eights there, yep. So, pop into this view. So basically what I did was I rotated this a little bit to make more room. And set a T so that half goes up, half goes across. And that across comes over here and duplicates the system. Every fifth one drops into each hole. So these guys are going to... They're going to work like a charm. I was making so much food that I had to put more uh, more food uh, storage out here, ration boxes. This over here has been popping lice, meal lice like crazy. So what have we got stored in here? We've got a bunch of meal lice and a thousand grams of... of oh, that's kilogram. Okay, that's not as much as I thought. That's only one kilogram. Okay. Over here... That's not what I want. No, 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 no. Go put it all back in. Thank you. <laughs> it's refrigerated. But, um... Uh, lice loaf, 36. Mule lice, 96. Bunch coming in here. Let's just put it that way. We're at 75,000 kilocals of food. So we are doing fine. Yep, sorry. I accidentally dumped it, and they're going to get hypothermia, and we don't have any warm winter coats. And yeah, you can make coats in this game. Uh, everything's planted. Great. So we're kind of done in this area. I was about to do this. I'll tell you what I, what I did. I, I, this is the second playthrough for me, in that I had moved all of this over to here so that I could duplicate another one of these right up in here and it took me so long to get all of this stuff moved over that algae ran out everything got polluted it was just all going bad so I went back to the same save that I left the last episode at left all of this alone that right there was a game breaker moving that quantity of product of loot or whatever you want to call it you know resources was just too much so I basically redid all that I had done before without this step, and it's worked so much better. Algae, I've been doing a little bit of carving trying to find it, I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, we're still on fumes on algae, so we're still hurting there. Um, where next? That covers pretty much all this. I finished off this one and got at least one picture in here. We should probably set that guy to get building too. Didn't want to do too much because I wanted you guys to see most of it. But there was uh, there were things that just needed to be done in order to keep the colony going long enough to get to the part that I was trying to get to for this episode. Last episode we ran out this floor and did all of this. And it didn't leave much of a reserve in here. So I decided to take it all the way up to this floor here and so I move the outhouses up we're gonna take these out so there's no more stink down below all the stinks gonna be up above In fact, we can go ahead and do that one now so deconstruct and what I've learned last episode when I clicked the nine and wouldn't grab the game is using up so much RAM on the computer that everything starts to get a bit delayed if I don't click and stay there It'll give me the click, but it won't give me the nine. So I've got to 
if I just click and move, it won't it won't uh, tra make the transition. If I click and hold there for a while, then I can. So I'm having to get into the habit of taking my time as I do things, no quick movements. So I don't know if it's a you know, memory. Um, what do you call those? You know, the game just starts collecting memory but uh that or, or my poor hot computer is having trouble or just what but uh while doing is that deconstruct all oh, here we go while doing this these these couple of hours of, of work here i've noticed some things and that was one of them um this never got done so let's make that a nine and get that tile finished food has decayed food has decayed Someone left some food here, huh? Rotten sleet wheat grain. Got put in here? Seeds are in here. Oh, nope. So I guess seeds go out here somewhere. They need to be refrigerated. Interesting. Okay. Then let's quickly... Storage. Any particular reason why or where? I was putting fertilizer and seeds in here. I guess I could do it right here instead. Well, that's going to be warm there. Okay, we'll go here. I just hated to have them have to run in here to get fertilizer to go all the way back up here to fertilize these plants, which are glowing. I'm making kind of a little song. So that means that we have hit the ideal air pressure, ideal temperature, the whole works. It is as good as it can get. Wow. Alright, so yeah, this one we're going to do. This one we're going to cancel. And we'll hold off until they do that. And then we'll delete this one and transfer all this stuff into there. Right now they're busy. Uh, I guess they're at the end of the cycle too. Yeah, that's the end. Okay. Which we get... How many? We get two seeds per round good. So it's all starting to happen like it's supposed to. We're getting our seed production going, we're getting all of our food coming in, and as long as we keep our number of, of duplicates uh, not necessarily stagnant there, but it, but at least in a you know, responsible number, so we can we can feed ourselves and we can breathe, then uh, this we should be pretty well balanced here for quite a while. So the next big issue is maintaining oxygen. And the algae is just about done doing that. Um, that's all done. That's the end. Okay. You are now a nine for seeds and polluted... No. None of these. Fertilizer. Okay. So with that, let's... I shouldn't need to, to say sweep this. This should be an automatic command soon because that's a nine. They should go looking for what it, what's needed there. And there they go. Grabbing the seeds. So with that, we can deconstruct this one at 9. And they'll tear this down. The fertilizer will pop out. And they'll start transferring the fertilizer over as well. There's more seeds. Grabbing the fertilizer. And what else is hiding in there? Rotten sleet wheat grain is going to turn to polluted dirt which is now going up over here, right? Did that get set? It did. Polluted dirt. Rot pile. Oh, that's a category now. Okay. So nine rot pile. And pull all that debris up here. And we're making more fertilizer. Okay, so the food system, for the most part, is in great shape. Don't have to be concerned about this anymore. What's it take to make them replant? We're picking up. We're in eight. Disable. Empty storage. So everything there is fine. If I click on the plant itself, that's not a thing yet, is it? Because it doesn't hasn't been planted. How do we get them to plant it? When I went through this before, after I did all of this, moved it over to there, I ran into the same thing. They got to the end, they never replanted. But at that point, I was realizing I'd made a big mistake by moving the storage. So, so there's a lesson for you. When you get about this far, 50 cycles into the game, and have storage of 50 cycles worth, don't uh, don't move it. 
<laughs> you're committed to that point. So I move it very slowly, one one group at a time. I dumped it all out and was ready to deconstruct. I, I brought back to the save where I could stop at that point because anything prior to that, I'd have to rebuild all of this. And this actually looks pretty good. So let's go through this. Wow, that zoomed in quick. So we're going to come through the top and we're going to have several of these air deodorizers which are going to clean up the the polluted oxygen in the area. Uh, it, I had it billowing through here before I got these in, so I got them in just in time, cleaned it all up. In fact, we're cleaned up enough to where let's save the running around and save the sand. Turn him off. These two, these three should handle anything we're going to send into here. This is a weight in sand. Okay. So all of our stinky stuff's out here now. We're restoring the stinkies and where we are converting it to fertilizer and the fertilizer gets brought all the way down there near the uh, near the farm next we've got a bio distiller which is interesting i got to think about this after i turned off the last episode this guy makes polluted water this guy uses polluted water and it turns out that um i've got to go over here to get those numbers refinement this one makes 400 grams per second this one uses, where are you? That's not it. Those numbers didn't work. 150 grams per second. So one of these could make enough to run two of these without having to pump it from down here to run it. I don't need to do this yet. Don't need it for this particular system. We may be pumping out of here to do something else with it because we're going to be eventually moving this water down through. What is all in there? Boy, there's a lot of stuff crammed into that. Hmm. Anyway, this water needs to come through. That water needs to drop down. This water needs to drop down. So we're going to get a bit of a basin in here. Hopefully I can keep it. Well, this door is only here temporary. I, I want to seal this up and get a double layer down this whole length. So there's plenty of strength to fill this up with, with uh, polluted water. But I uh, uh, didn't want to spend all of the time climbing down this ladder to do this work. So temporarily, we're gonna get this going. We're going to walk through this door and get this whole bottom half done. Then we're gonna tear the door out and we're going to get our double wall in here. And we'll start using the ladder at that point. But may as well use this shortcut to make this part of it much easier. We'll put the pump in, and insulated should keep it from hitting temperatures that will ruin it. So even though we're we're a steam a steam guys here is going to make lots of hot water. So this actually is a source of water. So this is emitting 60 kilograms. That's a lot of water per second when it erupts. And then it slows down to just steam after that. So that will make quite a bit of water. We've got one there, we've got one up here. And anything else exposed? We're getting to see this a little bit more. Though we should see quite a bit more out here as we start uh, working our way sideways into this. Anyway, um, got into this room a little bit. That's why we're waiting to see another dupe here. Um, but boy, algae is gone. I'm not going to hit that button yet. Well, I say that. we. I did break into here. This was full of water last time. And so I put this pneumatic door in to keep uh, these hatches from working their way into this. And I went ahead and popped it and ran a little bit out. And it just sat here and made a little a deep puddle that I knew once they woke up they would get in the middle of it and die. So ended up putting two of these in a row and digging far enough and putting this in. It was quite a quite a game of trying to get the water to finally obey and drop into here. And it finally did. So I was able to move water this way and then dig into here and got more algae. So let's pause before too much more time goes by. Let's look at this one. And it's been quite a while this has been sitting here, so we'll probably get another round here in a, in a few minutes too. But let's see what we've got here. Maybe we can get one to two more if, they're, if their qualities are good. And we'll use them to help us dig out this and get into here and get more algae going until we get that other system up and running. So, choose duplicate. Do we have... We do not. Right off the bat, there's no learning on any of them. 
10, 10, 10. That's the top end of what I'm willing to accept. Yeah, this round's a no, so reject all these. But I expect the next round to show up here real soon. So hopefully there'll be one in that one. And I'm kind of out of names of people who've actually requested to uh, have their name in the game. So if you're interested, it's a series that uh, that you want to, to keep up with and watch and, and leave a comment once in a while, say hi, then uh, go ahead and, and uh, let me know what name you want to use and we'll see if we can work in. I'll uh, just make a list over here. My, I've got a spiral notebook for all the games that I play and and uh, just have all kinds of notes written in and scribbled off and and uh, so I'll just keep a list in the order that I find them. If you want a male character or a female character and what family friendly name you want to use and we'll, uh, we'll get you in. Um, saying that meaning I want to also up the priority on a bedroom but tell you what let's pause and work through this. So let's deconstruct this one. Let's priority nine this guy and get into here and let's not make that mistake I've done that before they can't jump up two to grab that ladder to go they'd be trapped down here so can I put one there I can good all right you there you there and there if there was another kind of plant that grew up too high I wouldn't be able to put the ladder there so we're gonna come through punch through this um, I don't think the hatches will go down. I don't think they will. Hmm. You know what? Let's also pneumatic door nine right here. I'm gonna do that there instead now. That feels I've got half a half a day here, half a cycle. So that feels better. Lock these guys on this side. Yeah, I think so. Um, so plumbing wise, we are still doing pretty good here. Have we planted? We did replant. Okay. It, they just needed time to do that. All right. I'm, I'm happy there now. Okay. Okay. Mostly I want to get these two done. Once we do that, we'll deconstruct these others. I don't know if the hatches can jump over. I'm going to wait just yet, in case that doesn't get done. There we go. Alright, you guys can go away, and we can start digging for algae. like that. Some of it's going to fall down. We'll get down the ladder and, and pull it out, but enough algae to get the water going again. Although, if I hold off at here, cancel those. Yeah, they can walk down, walk across this, jump across. There we go. Let's dig out this area as well. There's more dupes. Take all that out, and eventually we'll take all this out. One more up there. Okay. Let's see what our second round gives us. Ooh, this looks good. So far, I'm on, on the surface. No and no. And 15 no. Okay. I saw something I didn't didn't notice before. Am I, am I really going to pass on this one? Twinkle Toes gives you good athletics. Good creativity, which we really don't need. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Reject. Okay. Um, Tomislav, you down here? You hiding in there? You are. Tomislav, stats? Where's it talk about your food? Does it say up here? Consumables? It. Zero. So. Ebony, a zero, and Tomislav, a zero. The other ones are negative ones. Don't know what that means. It's like their expectations are growing. Because they were all negative twos and negative threes. 
and it seems like these numbers are increasing. Now, I haven't read anywhere that that's a thing. So if you know, let me know. But I'm certain these are all negative 2 and negative 3s when we started the game. And now, when I saw Tomislav eating a lice loaf, where are you there? Lice loaf, there. Which is a negative 2. He had a really nasty look on his face like this was horrible stuff. I mean, he, was, he was expecting caviar and he wasn't getting it. So, and that adds a big chunk of stress to them. So, that uh, food apparently is going to become more and more an issue as we get further into the game. Which is something I wasn't expecting. But this is going to give us a whole bunch of more algae. At least enough to get us through another couple of days. While we're, after this batch, we'll run up there and, and uh, start working more on the, uh, on the new algae system. Or, yeah, slimed algae. But, are we good here for now? How's air looking? I've noticed something. It was kind of strange. When the outhouses were here, their stink would always drift off to the right eventually work their way up and land in here which got this one up and going and got that cleaned up um, let's nine you and nine you but I noticed now with the oxygen a little while ago before I before I turned the game on this had been running and it filled up this room completely and it just began to finally fill up over here it's still drifting off to the right this one always filled up this side, and then eventually it pushed back this way. So, I'm thinking there's something in the code that's not quite right, and it's favoring one side over another. The math is. We'll put it that way. Because that's kind of odd. There's, there's a breeze. There's a, a drift in this game. It always seems to flow up this way. I just noticed some polluted oxygen moving around right over there. Anyway, we are going for here next. We've gotten this far. We're done here. No, we're not. We've got a couple more here. And Ebony is going to finish that off, and we are in. Into the next uh, area. And this is also going to give us more of a uh, carbon dioxide sink. Although it seems to mostly be produced right over here. And we've got a bit of a barrier here. Hmm. Let's put in a mesh or gas permeable. Let's put in a mesh tile. Right there. And that'll help it drift through a little more. And I don't see us having more than that much water in here at one time anyway. We'll be uh, drowning out the equipment here, which won't work if it's underwater. So that's our peak as far as, uh, as water level of this thing filling up again, if it ever fills up again. We'll see. I mean, a little bit's dribbling back in here, but not a whole lot. It's just a, an occasional thing that makes it through. And I think this guy only runs when there's enough to top it off. Okay, so I got enough to push three out. And that doesn't actually put a whole lot in here. So, just kind of looking things over. Everybody sleeping peacefully? seems to be. Everybody's got their mess table now. About as stress-free as they're going to get up in here. They lose five a night. So every night they sleep in here, they, they drop five stress all by themselves. I've only got the stress table set to start at 25 and end at 20. Because I've been needing them working and not, you know, taking a holiday every, every other day. So they go up there and just top off and go back to work. And that seems to be working just fine. I don't know if there is a penalty that ramps up with more stress. In other words, should we set it for 15 down to 10 instead of 25 down to 20? So if you know that answer, let me know too. Do they work differently at stress 10 than they do at stress 20? I don't think so, but I'm not certain about that. So we are delivering... Oh. 
delivering the stinkies over here and picking up the fertilizer and taking it back. All right, so let's get into working on that, right? Is there anything that we're behind on? Food is still 79,000. Food is at an eight, and that's done really well with that. Um, power is being topped off. All right, let's concentrate over here now. So priorities, right there. Eight kind of gets them here once in a while, except everything that needs a delivery is set for an eight or a nine as well. All the plants, for fertilizer, all of the um, ox, uh, the algae uh, terrariums that need uh, that need water being brought over to it. You're gonna poop, aren't you? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. A lot of pooping in this game. <laughs> but um, so it. The way I've got this priority set up, I still have to, if I really want to get something done, I still have to come over here and and uh, set nine on something. So let's let's work on this section right now. And one ladder down. And let's at least get this guy up and going. And then we can start getting some slime deliveries in here. I've set up plumbing, a drain in the system for now. The drain is not going to work, is it? It is not. Interesting. Cancel all right there. I can't do it in this mode. Cancel all there. Okay. That's not going to work. When this water ends up down here, it will work fine. So let's let's make water defy gravity. That's one thing that gets me is these pipes, especially something like this where it's not pressured, it's just a, a dump. Yet it's going to go uphill and drip right here just fine. So there's a few things about this game that still need to be thought about as far as... Um, I'm going to go up like this and then just drop a vent into it as far as the physics of it. But, but it's fun anyway. It's fun watching it. And let's get that up and going too. So priority 9 on that one okay so now we're going to dump out of here it's not going to go this way because it's not going to be built so it's going to travel back up and then drip down into this area hopefully we can get this these guys built in time so that we can start taking some of this stress well i can tell you what as they build the floor in here and turn into mesh tiles then it's going to overflow and drip down into here so we will never be up to where we're walking in it okay but still there is enough stuff out there at priority nine to keep them from actually coming in and getting to work isn't there oh I may have to make six the new nine so i can taper upward from there yeah we'll see what you guys are going to do now there's so much sand to deliver to all these little filters there's so much water to deliver to uh um to other you know to the terrariums and, and algae to deliver to the to these guys right here which we are now out of again algae no we're not I turned it off I did turn it off all right let's go one more day with it off let's look at the the carbon dioxide so we are starting to drift okay it'd be nice to be able to turn these off and just let it drift through and fill up over here for a while what do you say Let's try that. We may really regret this, but let's do that. Leave this one running or not? Let's turn him off to. I moved him down one. These were having pressure problems. He... I think I've got to do that here. He... Takes in... Oh, these are milligrams, though. It actually creates pressure. So he takes in 3.3 grams and lets off 4 grams. Okay. So in that case, he actually is creating pressure for the area. Pressure of 500. Pressure of... So there's 34 grams of, of carbon dioxide, but 450 grams of oxygen that move back and forth through this area. Okay. So down here, now there's quite a bit of pressure right here too. Okay, so I was thinking that he was actually leaving me with a... He was trying to create a vacuum. thought it was a negative, but it's actually a positive. So, he's fine. 
and we'll just keep converting this into something breathable and eventually fill this whole place up with breathable air instead. That works. Does it work well enough to put them down low? Let me put them out here. So that's what I've been doing. I'm supposed to be doing this. Instead, while that's happening, I'm thinking, how can we do this better? I think he needs to be down in here. I won't necessarily prioritize this to happen right now, but let's at least think that through. If we were to put mesh tiles in, something like that, and then pop this guy into here, I think we'll convert this, the oxygen will rise, the carbon dioxide will fall anyway. I kind of like that. I do. Now I could just put a couple of ladders out here. That's probably even better. Save the materials. We'll do that. And base ladder. There. There. And that's good enough. They'll hop, skip, and jump over and, and build that. But we won't do that this time. We'll just leave it here. We want to get at least this guy going. Let me go ahead and pop the speed up one notch. Prefer to stay at one speed and so I can watch the facial expressions and see what they're up to. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Kind of watch the game in a different way than the goal of getting all these mechanical systems accomplished. Rather, I'm kind of watching the, the little soap opera that's going on in here and watching the details. And also, at speed 2 and 3, especially 3, if you make a mistake and you eventually go back and kind of look things over and and you know while you're going over here you're realizing oh that's not a good idea and this is why well by then it's built so <laughs> speed three I don't have the grace that I need to no power oh that's right these are powered to um, fix my errors no we do have power oh I tapped all the way down there, down a wall that I thought would be built by now. Yeah, um... The fastest route is just to run another one right up through here and get this done. I don't know that the ladders hide the wires like the floors do, so you still get the wire effect, the negative, of the decor and the stress. So that's why I hit it here. Let's put a temporary in here until we get that solved. So let's electrical wire. There it was. I clicked and I moved away and it didn't take. That's why a lot of these clicks don't work. I just click and move. I just clicked again. Click. Click. Well, now it's going to do it. No, it didn't do it that time. Or that time. Or that time. So yeah, it's there's a little bit of a delay built up in there. you got to click and wait for it. All right. Let's nine this stuff up here. I can't get through there. Boy. I wanted this dirt left. Actually, that hatch is gone. I think he got built into the floor. He's gone. He was living here. They came and built the floor, and then he was gone. He didn't go down here. These doors were in place. He didn't... He won't drop down. And that next night, I counted hatches, and I couldn't find one that wasn't already accounted for you know like the one that pops in right here so he's gone so i guess i can go ahead and do that then all right let's do that again and that is on this system here which has all the extra room okay so we're going to hit up here cross here tap in and let's turn it back on let's priority nine this this and let's dig nine here. Okay. This is your new nine, guys. Let's get this one done. Now, priorities. Did we accomplish what we wanted to? We did. Okay. So we got all the nines done over here. This will be up and running soon. It's a nine. It's probably not going to get its slime until we uh, uh, get power going. And do we actually have any slime right now? Slime, zero. We do not. Okay. Slime is... Just heard a strange noise. Yeah. This is slime. Slime will happen as we dig through this area. So let's 
uh, priority nine. That looked like slime there. There. So I guess we need to get into into here as well. Get a little bit of slime in store. And that's that's algae. Well, that's good stuff there. That is good stuff. Anything above us? No, we're safe here. We want to be careful here. We're going to pop a vacuum and lose some pressure. But, yeah, that's good stuff right there. In fact, that takes care of our algae problem for quite some time. No, it's just these two. Oh, in here. Just little pockets. I see. Okay. Hmm. Let's try to get a hold of that. Let's dig. Nine. There. There. And we'll take the slime out too. And let's run a ladder up there to do it with. We are out of copper. Whoa, we're out of copper. Okay. Well, grab you and you. And take you up all the way into there. We got the other one built. Ah, uh, we're out of copper. Okay. Copper. 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 Okay, well, I guess we are changing uh, priorities here. So I want to prioritize as a nine. Oh, I wish it didn't gray things out so badly. I can't tell where the copper is in here. So, basically this bedroom. Hmm. I could do it this way and nine it like that. But let's try to prioritize nine. Now, we'll just go that route there and that route there. Need to get into it. Need to get into it. Okay. That's and into it. That's the next system there. And let's manually. Okay, and I knew these guys here are. These two are not. So let's do these two. I'm not going to get to this top row without putting ladders in or climbing up to the top and doing it. But I can grab, I already have these done. Okay, so it just gets you. And the floor will be done. So we're going to pop copper out of here now. Need that copper to finish this. We finished it. We're running. Okay. Didn't want it splashing down like this. Essentially, though, it counts as dropping. It doesn't count as splashing all around like it's showing. So we're not getting anything building up on here. And I don't think that they will get any on them if they walk through it. It only counts if it's actually sitting on top. So we're still safe as far as uh, getting polluted. Unrefrigerated food. We're starting to get warm in here, aren't we? I bet we are. Moving in and out of here so much. You are 49 degrees. I'm kind of thinking this is another very important priority to get done. There's so many of them. Let's do this one as well. Priority 9, this group right here. We're putting this heat into this area, as well as opening up the doors. But I'm thinking this is just a constant uh, trickle of heat dropping in from this battery. So that right there may be enough to curb us. So we are getting into... Yeah, we're officially unrefrigerated now. Well, we're, we're wobbling in and out of it. Yeah. Let's take you down. Oh. I think so. You're now a five. Which means they're going to come in here, I believe, and just do this crazy transfer job. Now, are you ever going to drop pollution exposure interesting pollution exposure okay so where do we dump frozen polluted what this stuff polluted ice where do we put polluted ice it would make sense to put it right there and it'll just drip down let's do that how? Or liquefiable? There it is. Okay. We'll do that. And regular water. Where can that go? I think it's going to melt inside those boxes. 
inside this heat. Water dripping here will not work. Do I have anywhere already where water can drip? We could just waste the water and drop it into here. Though it can't share the same space as Pluto water, so I don't know what it'll do. It'll probably just float up on top. So that won't work either. What other choices are there? I need a place to drip water. And I am not seeing it. We can let it go here. Alright, you'll you'll take it. Liquefiable and ice and snow. Okay. Let's sweep this area and clean that up. And then let's dump this box. Uh, do that. We know how that works. And let's turn you back on again for when we fix this problem. Are you transferring everything on your own? In case you're not, let's tell you to. Alright. So all the Pluto stuff is gone. No longer says that it is contaminated. Good. Now we're going to clean up all this. Oh, it's cold in here. And we're going to transfer that all over. 65,000. I had this at a night. Whoa. Okay, well now we know this didn't work. You guys got to turn back on. Okay, so the carbon dioxide is not going to drift down and fill up this area fast enough. Fast as we're making it. And I wish I knew why we we're making so much over here. I don't understand what the source is. If you guys see a source, let me know, because I don't see it. I just don't. Unless all the carbon dioxide from the... Are we out of algae again? No. You are disabled. I didn't turn these back on. I hate doing this. I need to get some kind of an atmospheric pressure switch hooked up to them. Because I don't remember always to turn them back on. But what is the source of the carbon dioxide here? Unless it is that drift I was telling you about. That the polluted would always drift this way and the oxygen will always drift to this side. If we... I know we're, we're getting kind of late. i got to shut this episode down. But if we could just sit here and watch... It's firing off to this side. It's like, you know, the uh, the jet stream moves this direction through here, and it's just pulling it. Over here, we're going to see this turn blue first, if it does what it did last time. Which is really interesting. It's not an even distribution. Yeah, it is definitely pushing off over here. This one's not as obvious. Need to give it a little more time. So I wonder if the carbon dioxide up in here drops and drifts this direction too. I don't know. Otherwise, I don't see a source here. So, anyway, these are going to have to stay on no matter what. We're up to 2,500 algae now thanks to what we did up here. Yeah, that was that was a lifesaver. So, I'm going to call this one done. I'll We'll do these next time. So I'm not going to run the game anymore in between episodes. Somebody made a mess. What happened here? Oh, man. Well, let's get that cleaned up. Pronto. Alright, so sweep nine, you guys go and clean... Or mop nine, you guys go clean this mess up. Oh, the face. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So what happened there? And we're moving polluted ice around. Could it have melted before it made it? I wish I had seen that. Do you actually have anything in you? Liquefiable. You got some. So it and it's not melting here. Even though it is 90 degrees, it's gonna stay in the ice form. That's strange. If I were to pop you out of there. I didn't see it open up and spit it out. Did you? I was like, well, I missed the show. Hmm. Oh, well. Anyway, we're cleaned up. We're functioning again. We'll do this printing pod next time. So, this has been Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.